everyone, this is Suzy Q of Suzy Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room. Hi room. everyone, so today I have Tommy with me, and um, I'm going to be continuing uh, Suzanne's On or Under the Sea theme um, this week, and um, I wanted to bring Benjamin on. He's actually the Benjamin sculpt by Natalie Blick, and I keep wanting to call him Benjamin, but he is actually named Tommy. <laughs> um, so this is Tommy, and I adopted him from Suzanne of Suzanne's Babies uh, on February the 10th of this year. And uh, but he actually was originally made uh, way back in July on July 11th of 2021. And this is his original uh, birth certificate that uh, Suzanne sent me along uh, with uh, Tommy in his box opening. And um, his information is that he was born on July the 11th of 2021. He is 8 pounds 8 ounces and he is 23 inches. And he was reborn by, um, reborn by Tess and her name is Ter uh, Teresa uh, Wildman it looks like. And so um, I don't know if Suzanne got uh, got he got um, Tommy firsthand um, from the, the artist or if she was the second mommy. But anyway, I'm thrilled to have him in my nursery. And this is his COA right here. He's the Benjamin sculpt. And um, he is number 993 out of 999. And again, uh, by Natalie Blick. And so, yeah, I wanted to bring him on today um, because um, he's another special uh, little boy that I have in my nursery that I adopted from Suzanne. And since it's her theme week, I thought it'd be fun to bring him on. Uh, he's got his teddy bear with him, which um, was the lovey that Suzanne sent with him. Now, I'm going to show you the outfit that um, I'm going to be changing him into today. And Suzanne, tell me if this is an outfit that you sent with, uh, with Tommy. Because um, it looks like it has the, um, that, uh, I'm not sure if that's the brown hair or if that's the, guess how much I love you, bunny, or if it's neither one. But anyway, um, the, um, the, the brand name of this is Jules. J-O-U-L-E-S clothing um, in, uh, from Great Britain. And so that's why I'm guessing, Suzanne, that you sent this um, outfit with Tommy, but you can let me know in your comments. Uh, anyway, I'm doing um, Under the Sea today, and because this is a whale, and uh, of course whales are under the sea. Real pretty blue, I love this blue. And um, the back of it is just the real pretty blue uh, with the brand name on it. And um, it's really gonna go with his gorgeous um, blue eyes today. And uh, not very many accessories, but I thought it would be fun to put these, um, I think I think these are called Tootsies um, shoes. Uh, um, it's been a while since I've, um, I brought these uh, this brand name of shoe on my channel, but I have several pairs for my girls and my boys. And anyway, um, I thought that they would be really cute um, to to go along with the outfit because they are sea uh, or ocean related. Um, we have a sailboat on one shoe, and we have an anchor, a boat anchor on the other shoe, and so and then. Um, the souls say ahoy matey and so yeah these are super cute um these are hand painted leather shoes um gosh i hope i hope i'm saying uh the name right of the brand if i'm not i will put it uh right here um in the video and, and let you know but i think it's tootsies but uh anyway i thought those would look cute and then these socks will go really really well with the outfit and the shoes and then I just thought, just for fun, that he could wear these sunglasses. <laughs> you know, because he is a beachy little boy today, and so I thought it'd be fun to put these sunglasses on him. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started and get this little guy, Tommy, changed. And hopefully uh, during my changing video, I'm not going to be calling him Benjamin. Um, he just, he looks like a Benjamin to me. Um, so Natalie Blick uh, named him right, 
but I also love the name Tommy for a little boy. So we're going to go ahead and leave the name Tommy. We'll put his little bear up, up here on the shelf um, amongst the other uh, teddy bears. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera. And uh, let's see, I do have a blue pillow that I can bring down for this little guy. He is so, so cute. You know, I was, um, I also have the, um, the Pippa sculpt by Natalie Blick, and I was kind of comparing them this morning um, as um, uh, when I brought uh, Tommy up to the changing table and they, they look similar. Um, they're both um, large sized babies Although the Pippa sculpt um, is a standing, a tall standing baby, and I need to bring her on again. But anyway, they look uh, similar, uh, like around the nose and the mouth area. Um, they have different colored eyes, and um, their their hands are shaped differently. But um, but yeah, they uh, they look similar because they're a um, they're a chunky baby, both of them. Uh, but uh, my my Pippa is. Um, she is a standing baby and uh, she, she's, she doesn't sit very well, uh, which is great because I like that, she's sta that she can stand because I originally got her as a standing baby, and, you know, for a standing baby in my nursery. But um, anyway, I'll bring her on one of these days soon and you can see her again because it's been a long, long time. Um, so he is wearing a super cute little um, gardening outfit from our dear friend, uh, dear friends in Montreal, Canada, uh, Claudia Tronka and her family. And they had uh, gifted this to my nursery quite a while ago. But I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Let's see, I don't, there's no buttons on the side. I guess I should probably take his shoes off um, to make it easier uh, to get him changed. Changed and unchanged. We'll go ahead and put those over there. And he's got these nice brown socks on too. Look at those feet. <laughs> Look at those feet. They are so cute. I always like looking at the feet too. The, the fingers, you know, the hands and the feet, um, the artists make them, you know, sometimes they make them just as expressive as um, the face, you know. And so I really, uh, I really like when everything um, on a reborn is expressive like that. So yeah, so yes, this outfit will fit um, my uh, my other standing um, my other standing my standing boy, and um, I need to bring him on again too. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll bring both of my standing kids on soon. Now this um, this onesie came with this uh, with this little guy Tommy, and I just keep this on him because I just I love it. I think it's just perfect for him. It's got rainbows and little with little red cars driving on the rainbows, <laughs> driving over the rainbows. So yeah, and then he does have this. Uh, let me show you his special diaper. Um, uh, Suzanne was kind enough to send the cloth diaper along with him as well, and he and the name of it is Bambino Mio. And so, yeah, it's a really nice diaper. I really like it. So it's got a little either uh, Katie dids or uh, grasshoppers, or some kind of a little bug like that. Um, hopefully not cicadas. No, <laughs> it could be cicadas. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get this snapped up. So, um, oh, you know, I've been meaning to talk to you all about my... Um, a while back, I brought up uh, the fact that I was having problem, a problem with wasps that were, uh, they're actually yellow jackets um, that were, that's been, they have been, um, uh, they made a nest um, near my water spigot out, outside uh, to where I hook my hose up. And, um, oh, it looks like the price tag is still on. Oh, this is actually... Oh, the, the, the rabbit is actually a Jules, uh, or however that you um, pronounce that. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but the, the rabbit actually belongs to this brand name. So, yeah, but I'm just really, I'm really guessing, um, Suzanne, that you, uh, that you gifted this to our nursery, uh, along with uh, Benjamin. So I'm going to take the tag off, but I'm going to keep it um, because it's, see if I can I can probably just untie it 
because I'm going to put uh, all of his information on it, which is what I do with outfits that I keep, that I get, um, that my dear friends uh, gift to my nursery for my babies. So I'm hoping this is going to fit. It's a size zero to three months. Um, the outfit that I took off of him was a um, three to six months, but um, this out this outfit here looked extra big for a zero to three. So I was thinking and hoping and crossing my fingers <laughs> that it was going to fit. Um, okay, so my yellow jackets, I figured out that um, I ended up buying some more uh, yellow jacket spray uh, because um, I just thought, well, I'm going to try one more brand. And, and it, of course, it didn't work. So, um, and I, you know, what they're doing is they're flying around my outdoor spigot where I hook my hose up and that's what I use to water my vegetable garden. Well, anyway, um, last time that we went shopping, I thought of an idea of um, getting some of that, you know, there's this spray that you get that's, it's a foaming spray, but that, but, and you can um, put it in inside of holes or, uh, I don't know, cracks or whatever, and it seals up and it dries uh, really firmly. So I saw that and I thought, you know what, I am going to try this. And so um, I think, it, yeah, it was yesterday um, that I tried uh, putting the <laughs> putting the spray in and it would have worked uh, to keep them out of their nest, but um, I didn't I, di I didn't close up the, I didn't put the foam in the right holes, <laughs> and uh, which my husband um, had a good laugh about that one. Uh, but anyways, uh, so we went out this morning and um, he resprayed the hole that I missed plus some other spots. And uh, right now the, the yellow jackets are like swarming around their area trying to, uh, trying to get in, but so far they have not been successful. So um, I'm hoping in a couple of days they'll give up and uh, not want to, uh, you know, they'll, they'll build a nest elsewhere. So yeah, yep. Now this fits him really, really well. It's a little bit snug around the legs, but it's stretchy fabric. So I think it's gonna look really cute on him. Um, lengthwise, it is super, super perfect. It's just, it's just right, just right for him. So um, anyway, I'll go ahead and put these socks on him and we'll get going with that. Uh, you know, just before I uh, came on to do my video, I gave my bunny a bath. I do have a seven-year-old rabbit. Um, he is white with a couple of spots of black on him and he's got blue eyes. And um, he needed a bath. Uh, normally you don't uh, give a bunny a bath um, because they can wash themselves, keep themselves clean um, like a cat does. But uh, as they get older, it's hard harder for them uh, to clean, keep themselves clean. And so um, I wasn't even planning on giving him a bath today. I just went in. Um, he stays here in the farmhouse uh, in a cage, or in a, it's a cage, but it's an open cage to where he can hop out of the, uh, the doorway and uh, go on a tabletop. But anyways, um, I just, you know, reached in to pet him and I noticed that he needed his, um, from the waist down, he needed a bath. So I uh, got out my handy dandy. I didn't have my any uh, kitten shampoo with me, and so I, uh, but I did have some um, uh, very mild baby shampoo, uh, baby, not shampoo, baby wash. And uh, I keep that in here in my nursery because I, you know, use it to, um, to wash their hair with sometimes. So with my baby's hair when I do wash it, which is very rare, <laughs> a very rare thing. I rarely wash hair. Um, but anyways, I gave him a bath and I snipped his nails and now he's all, he's all, um, he's all dried off and, and fluffy. And I think he's a happy camper now, but, um, yeah. Do you ever go to do something and uh, you kind of get switched around. It's like, oh, I need to do, yeah, you go in to, to do a video and you end up giving your bunny a bath before the video. Um, I am famous for doing that. Yes, I am. 
I guess it's because I like to get things done over here at the farmhouse because, um, you know, that way I don't have to make a special trip uh, to give my, my bunny a bath, you know, um, at another time. So, yeah. There he is. This is. Doesn't he look really super cute in this outfit? There's his, his shoes, little tootsies, I think they're called. Um, but yeah, there he is with that precious little face and those expressive little hands. And uh, gosh, I hate to cover up his, um, his beautiful blue eyes, but I am going to do that just because I thought it would be fun to have him wearing sunglasses today. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. The sunglasses on. There he is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that could that couldn't be any cuter. I have a picture of myself as um as a, I probably was about four, three or three years old maybe. Uh, I was in a swing out at a park. I had sunglasses on. Uh, my head was drooped like this, uh, and um, I was asleep. I was sleeping in the swing, and this just reminds me of that. So there he is with his sunglasses on. But I am going to take them off. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put them up there because that's how we wear sunglasses, isn't it, when we're not using them. But uh, anyway. So uh, anyway, you guys, that's all I was planning on uh, doing today with uh, little Tommy. And Suzanne, thanks again for doing this fun theme. I'm sure I'll get another video or, or two in um, before the, the week is over. So um uh get, see today is sunday so have a wonderful rest of your sunday i hope you have a great uh, brand new week next week um thanks so much for joining me and until we meet again bye bye from me and baby tommy bye bye